My name is Kyla Jolch, um, and I'm a senior at Lincoln North Star High School. And this is called Learning My Lesson. See, so there's a word for people like me, and I think it's spectacular. <laughs> See, that has to be it, because no other word shadows amongst the essence of wondrous and demanding at the same time. See, my whole life, everything around me has been silently screaming it to me, hoping to engrave it in the dents of my eardrums. You are spectacular. I'd listen, but never hear them. Too distant to make out a figure, but close enough to admire the tenseness and their vocal cords. I'd brush them off as if I knew something that they didn't. You are spectacular. I'd be reminded each and every day I am my body's own best friend. So with all my vitals here and functioning, they cycle together and creating magic that keeps me waking up every morning as if I have some important place to be. Them probably knowing that I'm already at it. My blood cringes through my veins, announcing its favorite melody. You are spectacular. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? We need you. You are. And I'd always pause the song before I'd ever got the chance to say it twice. Mm -hmm. You are spectacular became a part of my daily routine. You see, my mother, who at 10 and a half was told that she'd never be able to have kids, and when she was 16, here I come, she cries to me, and I scream back wanting something in return, but the words, you are spectacular, never seem to fill my stomach. And though screaming never became a habit, I'll never forget the time I used it in a war. You see, as a mistake was continually made, I, in a private conversation as a first grader, scream, I hate myself, and my teacher, tearing up, screams back at me, you are spectacular. And as a tear draws its way down her cheekbone, she says, I will teach you. I learned to spell it and define it, but never comprehend nor believe it. You are spectacular. I wrote it a hundred times, tattooing the flesh of my notebook. And then she says to me, tell me why you are spectacular. And I still to this day cannot explain to you how intensely my head pounded, contracting, looking for the right arrangement of words that I could hand over to my teacher like some sort of gift, wrapped with a big bow of honesty, I wanted to mean it, and so with a voice loud enough to trickle its way down the hallways, projecting itself as if the whole world needed to be in on this, I think the most important person who needed to hear me was me. I screamed, I'm spectacular because I have people who love me. I'm spectacular because in the midst of all darkness, I will stand with my head held high and I will look whoever I need to in the eye so I could stand up here with a crowd of I don't know of how many and say it and mean it. I'm spectacular. Do you hear me? So if I wrote a book today, it'd be infinity in one pages. The last page to remind you and anybody else who dares to listen, but most importantly myself, that I am spectacular.